Hey guys, it's Monica and this is my third video in a series on how to apply for residency. So besides the personal statement, there is another big section of the ERAS application and that is your list of experiences. So experiences being anything like community service, work experience, or research. And the application asks you to write a little description of each activity, but it doesn't really tell you how or what to write. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to write a strong activity description to really make your experiences stand out. Now first things first, should you use a bullet point format or a paragraph format for these activity descriptions? So personally, I prefer a bullet point format because when I see a long paragraph, I feel like there's higher chance of the applicant reviewer being intimidated by this long paragraph and not even bothering to read the whole thing. But if you do bullet points, you do have to actually keep things concise instead of putting paragraphs for each bullet point because that totally defeats the purpose of having the bullet point format in the first place. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. If you're more comfortable with the paragraph format, as long as you stay concise, then you'll totally be fine. I've seen both used and it doesn't really matter that much. So let's first start with community service and work experience. Now I'll mention the tip and then I'll read you an example off my phone here. So first, of course, you want to orient the reader. If you were part of a volunteer group, then what was the mission of that volunteer group? So don't just throw names out there and assume that the reader knows what that organization is. So as an example, as student clinic director, supervised 45 medical and undergraduate students volunteering at, insert organization name, a shelter that provides comprehensive social services to women and children. My next tip is to include numbers where you can, especially if they're impressive numbers. So for example, it sounds much more impressive to say something like, I volunteered for 1500 hours over the course of five months versus I volunteered for a few months. So a couple of other examples would be instructed more than 300 students overall. I co-facilitated a 10 month long discussion among 20 medical students. Tip number three, be specific about the roles that you played and the skills that you gained. So you wanna list these out and be specific. So for example, responsibilities included coordinating weekly visits to the shelters, overseeing clinical activities on site, and organizing informal discussions on health-related topics with the residents. I registered patients, managed patient flow, verified insurances, collected co-payments, processed medical records requests, and scheduled appointments. Now, that is a long, impressive list of things that the person did, and also gives you a hint as to what sorts of skills the person gained. And another big tip is to not hold back. Do not hold back. This is not your time to be humble. You need to emphasize the strong points in the work that you did. So if you founded something, like you actually created something out of thin air, an organization that didn't exist before and you started it, that is super impressive. You need to make sure that you emphasize that you started that thing. I founded an organization that blah, 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 blah. If you were a leader, I led, I supervised. If you took something that was failing and then really turned it around, you should really play that up. If you were selected for something, make sure you say was selected for, and if it's competitive, throw in that word competitive, because again, it's showing another level of success. So a quick example for that one is selected by peers to be a member of the clinical curriculum committee alongside course directors and clerkship directors. My next tip is if you had an impact on a group of people or the environment and it was measurable and you actually have results to show it, be sure to put that in there because you wanna give the reader a sense of the impact that you had through this experience. So for example, presented data to administrators that contributed to a 40% increase in budget. Now that's impressive. The next tip is to choose your verbs wisely. So this goes for really any type of resume. So for example, I already mentioned this, but if you led something, use the word led or oversaw. All you have to do is Google action words for resumes and you'll get a ton of lists with words that you can choose from. And lastly, you want to make sure you let the reader know what impact that activity had on you, especially if it was a meaningful experience. So for example, I learned the importance of accurate medication reconciliation and prioritized it when admitting patients on my clerkships. The next type of activity is research. So think of it as kind of a mini abstract. So you wanna first start with the objective of your study and you wanna write it in one sentence, maybe two sentences max. 
And again, emphasize your role in the study. What exactly did you do? And if you have numbers, go for it. Put that number in so that you can give a sense of the scope of the work that you did. So instead of saying something like, my role was chart review, you could say, I reviewed over 1,500 medical records for surgical procedures, complications, readmissions, and emergency room visits. Now come on, that sounds so much more impressive. Next, you want to write what the key findings of the study were, and remember, you want to be succinct about this. And next, you want to write what skills you gained from the research project. So for example, I developed skills in data analysis using Python after working on this research project. Was the study published? And if it was, in what journal? Did you get any oral or poster presentations out of this? And what conferences did you present at? This is all really important information to put in the description because it really shows how much work you put into the project and how successful it was. This project resulted in an oral presentation and one poster presentation at such and such regional conference. So that's it guys, just a quick video on how to write activity descriptions. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And please subscribe to support my channel and also to get more videos on how to succeed in medical school, residency, and beyond. Bye guys.